Welcome to the all new Sports Visions TV show. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good friend and traveling partner. How are you, sir? What's up, player? Well, the weather's changing a little bit, man. Okay. I think that uh, the, the cold weather's about gone. It's, I hope it is, DJ, <laughs> but really it looks real pretty outside, man, and everything is perfect right now. Spring is in the air. March Madness is in the air. Absolutely. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll talk about not only our High School Female Athlete of the Year Awards luncheon that's coming up in just a few weeks. We'll also have an opportunity to premiere our magazine. I know it's on the streets right now, and we'll tell you how you can get your copy. All that and more coming up next on Sports Visions. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. We think you would really shine in the AFLAC program. AFLAC? Coach Saban, we have health insurance. Did health insurance pay for everything? No. We still have bills. AFLAC gives you money directly to help with those. AFLAC. And your deductibles, knee brace, whatever you choose. AFLAC sounds like a winner. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We try. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Get to know us at AFLAC.com. For all of your tire and service needs, be sure to visit Complete Tire and Service, 3109 Victory Drive in Columbus. For your convenience, we have a 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art building, premium environment to the customer. For workstations, Wi-Fi, we carry Bridgestone, Firestone, Falcon, and Continental. Our managers have over 125 combined years in the industry. We have 24-7 commercial roadside assistance, DOT inspections, complete automotive services. Our phone number is 706. 9400982 Be sure to visit Complete Tower and Service 7069400982 Welcome back to Sports Visions. Dale, our High School Female Athlete of the Year Awards luncheon, man. This is the fifth, and I know it seems like only yesterday that we started it, man. But again, you know, this is one of the times of year that we really feel good about, you know, what we do. Obviously serving uh, the young student athletes and coaches in this community. And uh, nothing speaks bigger when you talk about honoring these high school female athletes. I mean, really, DJ, this is big, man. we five years we've been doing this, DJ, and really it's been received very well. You know, our corporate sponsors are still intact. We got everybody in from 26 high schools around the Chattahoochee Valley area. Now we're honoring the young ladies here and they're doing an outstanding job. Now you probably wonder how do we get to pick out the top 50 to 60 athletes? Well, it's not in our hands. For the most part, uh, the athletic directors and the coaches that coach these young ladies at all of these schools that we're talking about in East Alabama, West Central Georgia, they nominate the, uh, the young ladies and from there we select specialty awards and uh, we go into detail with academic awards, outstanding performances on offense defense or whatever sport uh, there may be and again this year with the, the new addition of the flag football teams you know this is a great great uh, this is a special year because yeah. you know this is the first year that Columbus High School has been uh, of course uh, the, the champion and this is the first year of the league so this is inaugural this is iconic it's historic it's historic DJ and we're going to have a great opportunity to honor uh, some of these young ladies that were on this first flag football championship team coach Chris Greer does a great job with with this team and really being able to honor them is big, you know, but we really, our profile is real thick from the, the volleyball, soccer, softball, basketball, and, you know, and really competitive cheerleading right now. So we're honoring young ladies from all around this Chattahoochee Valley area doing a great job. Most of them have 4.0 GPAs, DJ, play multiple sports. This is very, this is a very good look for the female athletes here in the Chattahoochee Valley area. And what I love about honoring the, the young ladies, uh, they're so humble. I mean, they're so appreciative. It's almost as if, you know, thank you guys. Thank you, Sports Vision, because, you know, everybody normally overlooks us. And we've had many uh, young ladies to say that over the course of the past few years. But uh, again, like I said, it, do, it does our heart proud. They just don't know how good it makes us feel. They That's think right. that they feel uh, humble. <laughs> we, we feel good because, like I said, again, I always say this, somebody did it for us. That's and right. for us, of course, to know and realize it, to have walked in those shoes, that's why we want to uh, always make it special. I mean, and really, DJ, the other piece about it is that nobody else is doing it. And anytime there's nobody else doing something, we want to step up and, you know, really, uh, you know, do a great job with our mission statement and doing these kind of things. And really, the young ladies, like you said, the, re the remarks 
from the coaches, the parents, the students. I mean, it makes you want to do it again anytime. So really, you know, far as that is concerned, I think the fifth year is probably going to be the best year, DJ. And I think really, as this thing keep on progressing and I, these young ladies keep on progressing and developing, it's going to be easier for us to do it. And it's going to be even easier for the corporate sponsors to be a part of this event. As you enjoy the uh, the highlights of the past, the previous uh, award ceremonies that we've given for the young ladies, man, I tell you, we couldn't do any of this at all with our corporate sponsors, our community partners. I mean, it, it's just been a great thing to have. And some of, uh, some of them have been with us for 12 years uh, since we That's started right. the, the, uh, the high school football lunch in Dale. But, you know, our hats are off to you guys. And again, you know, I wish that, you know, I, I could do something for them. But I think you know, what we're doing is for them, again, yeah. highlighting those young ladies and, of course, having the opportunity to let those, uh, those uh, participants in the event know whether they're the sponsors, whether they're the coaches, whether they are the athletes themselves. We always make mention to let those young people, those young ladies in particular, they know who sponsored them, who made this possible, who sure. made it, uh, who, who, you know, help us, who raised the funds to pay for all of these niceties when you talk about a great meal down at St. Luke. When you talk about, <laughs> you know, having the opportunity to, to rent the building out. And again, all the awards and gifts for the coaches and the players, uh, it's a special time and, and we're really appreciative to our sponsors and our community partners. And, and really, DJ, like you said, you know, we are really appreciative of all our corporate sponsors. But one of the biggest things that we really love is that they trust us with their brand. You know, they've been basically say, yeah, we're, we're in again this year. And really, like I said, you know, it's almost like raising a young man and a young, uh, and a young lady. And really, at the same time, you got a 12-year-old and you got a 5-year-old, DJ. And really, we take all our events very, very seriously. And really, we could not do it without the corporate sponsors, the community, people that see that w what we're trying to do. They always pitch in. And really, hats off to St. Luke. One of the highlights of all of our luncheons is always a, the speaker. And, of course, this year we're proud to have one of our very own former Columbus Lady Cougar basketball star, Trelane Moore Powell. And she is currently the head basketball coach at Tuskegee University. And, again, Dale, I'm so excited because Trelane is not so far removed, <laughs> right. you know, from this community. And now she's in a position where she's speaking and she's walked the steps to these young ladies. Trelane grew up in Macon, Georgia, not too far from here, spent a lot of time at Columbus State uh, playing basketball, spent time at – as well at CVCC uh, coaching and of course she had a couple of other stops along the way to include Mercer and now she has her own program and has done just a tremendous job in the past two years down at Tuskegee. I mean really she's doing a great job DJ and one of the biggest things that we try to do with this event is basically we want to empower these young ladies too to show them that there are some people that look just like them, that walk their same footsteps, that they can be able to become these kind of people also in the community, not just in athletics, but all the things that they want to do when they go to college. You know, they can come back and still invest in this community. But the biggest objective of this whole event is to empower these young ladies and let them know that somebody's got their back. If in some way we've touched your soul, touched your heart, and you want to reach out and, of course, be a part of this fifth annual High School Female Athlete of the Year Awards Luncheon, please, by all means, give me a call at 706-681-1136 or call Dale at 706-681-5192 for your table or sponsorship. We have a lot of blessings for you for helping us. We'll be right back after this. Issues. Not pretty in your scene. Not pretty on your house. Weather interference, also not a pretty picture. And those long-term contracts and early cancellation fees, the fine print is pretty ugly. With Beam, there are no contracts, channels you want, high-speed internet, and no data caps, and above all, local customer service. Now that's pretty. Ask us today about our contract buyout special in cable and internet bundles. Beam, we're powered by you. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A Grill Nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender and honestly the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong.
gear up for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome back to Sports Visions. It's now time for our SEC report, of course, yeah. brought to you by our good friends from Academy Sports and Outdoors. And Dale, I tell you what, first and foremost, let's salute uh, Don Staley and her Lady Gamecocks again, winning the conference championship 32-1, and the best record in the country, as well as the number one seed heading into the NCAA tournament. I mean, DJ, what can you say? Went undefeated in the SEC, that 19 and 0, and really they win their fifth SEC championship out of the last six years. She got a squad, DJ, and really she is definitely, you know, all her players emulate her. She was a hard-nosed player, and all her players are hard-nosed. When you talk about hard-nosed, man, can you imagine that <laughs> three of her starters were in high school last year, yeah. but they were freshmen. She got three of her five starters as freshmen, and she still has the best team in the country. Also <laughs> went up to beat UConn at UConn. Now again, you know Gino Ariyama is one of the greatest of all hey. time. That don't usually happen, DJ, <laughs> but like I said, Don has done a great job, man, well, ever since she's been at South Carolina, but to get younger and better talent, each year that she's been there, that has been amazing. It's the top athletic program at the University of South Carolina. She leads the pack with these young ladies, DJ, and really, like I said, she's going to have an opportunity probably to be in that Final Four. You know, she's expected to be in the Final Four. They will be the number one seed in the South region, so I think really they'll have a great opportunity to win this thing, DJ, and nobody has even come close to these guys this year. What I love about Dawn is that, uh, you know, as a player, I can remember just a few years ago, she was uh, you know, she had that dog yeah. in her. And I mean, she <laughs> didn't quit. She left it on the court. And her team plays exactly like her temperament. That's right, man. I mean, like I said, they, they are definitely emulating their coach. I mean, and she has a no-nonsense attitude, you know, just from the, the uh, Pat Summit piece. She definitely was coached by Pat Summit, but at the same time, DJ, she does a great job, man. And really, like, nobody goes to Connecticut and beats Connecticut on their own court, DJ. Don Staley, they did it very easily. Like you said, DJ, she has a young team, and really, she probably got the top five players in the whole country, DJ, and most of them will be back next year. Can you imagine her coming into your living room to recruit <laughs> your daughter? And again, you're talking about an accomplished player. Of course, she was a great college ball player. She, of course, had Olympic gold medals, had opportunity to play in the, in the uh, in WNBA. And of course, the, with her, coaching, uh, her coaching career is just uh, it's outstanding. And the way she's able to, to motivate those young ladies, man, again, uh, uh, it's just it's refreshing, man, because again, you, you know, normally you don't see women coaching like <laughs> men if you want I'm, I'm saying that because of how hard she pushes yes. her girls and it's an amazing thing to see and again she's getting results on the court she's getting results dj and like i said dj i think one of the best things about don staley is that she is who she is i mean she grew up playing hard she played in a great program she got a, another program with south carolina she is really developing her own program but dj you know even i, I would i hate to compare her, but really, she takes on that same attitude like a Nick Saban. She makes everybody around her better. Even the coaches are getting better in the SEC when, when it comes down to women basketball. So really, hats off to Don Staley and her South Carolina Gamecocks. Of course, we know that uh, South Carolina is no doubt going to be the number one seed in the tournament, but the Mississippi State is not too far off. Again, that's, right. you know, that's one of the other few teams that will be there participating out of the SEC. You know, they had the selection show on Monday while we tape, taping this show. I think really one of the big things about the SEC, they probably have about five or six possible teams. You know, Mississippi State's going to be there. Tennessee's going to be in there. LSU's going to be in there. Texas A&M is going to be in there. And it's probably a toss-up with Florida. But you can best, uh, best sh be assured that the SEC is going to be well represented in the NCAA. All right, let's transition into the men's side of things where the SEC tournament is just getting underway. And I know the regular season early in the week just concluded. And, uh, you know, without all doubts, I mean, this year has not been a great year overall for the SEC because we normally have several teams that right. would be uh, in contention for the NCAA uh, tournament. But heading into the SEC tournament, we have, uh, you know, no doubt uh, a couple of teams that could make their way, be spoilers, and, and of course, end up, uh, making it to the NCAA tournament. You know, like I said, you know, I think Kentucky is going to be probably the number one seed coming out of the SEC, and they might win the SEC championship, which starts this week on Wednesday. But at the same time, DJ, they probably come out of there number one. They might get a number one seed probably in the Mideast or the Midwest or maybe even the South if they win the tournament. But you can look for Kentucky is going to be there. Auburn's the number two seed, DJ. They're going to be in the mix. LSU is the number three seed. So, really, and all these guys, they don't play until Friday at the SEC tournament. So, that's going to be interesting. But one good thing about tournament time and March Madness, 
the team that gets hot right now is probably going to be a team that probably end up being Cinderella. Now, here's a situation that I think might, might, might not work to the advantage of the teams that obviously are the higher seeds. They have double buys. So that means yeah. that there's going to be some teams that are playing with some momentum, a la Georgia, who has yeah. been finished the season pretty doggone good. And, of course, Anthony Edwards has a complete year under his belt now, so he's not a rookie anymore. And uh, he's playing some of his best basketball. But, you know, as, as, as lousy as Georgia played this year, five, roughly 500 ball, you know what, I think this is one of those times, man, you can play your way into uh, possibly being in the tournament. There you go, DJ, because really there's like that top three seeds that are coming from the SEC. you probably got the bottom feeders, too, DJ, and they have to play their way all the way into the NCAA. Like Georgia starts off Wednesday playing, you know, playing against Ole Miss, and really they are a late seed, DJ, but really they've been playing pretty good basketball the last three games, DJ, and I think really if they can continue to play uh, with the edge and like they don't want to go home, that's going to be a very interesting ending because really, you know, to have a team like the top three seeds be sitting out until Friday, DJ, and you got a team that's got to play their way in and they've been playing from Wednesday, that sometimes is a, almost a mismatch because the team that, that starts on Wednesday, they've just gotten hot. So really, it's going to be an interesting tournament like it always is and really, you know, hats off to the folks up in Nashville trying to keep this thing together even after the tornado. Absolutely. Not only the tornado, but uh, again, uh, the, some thoughts at the SEC office as far as the SEC network and the conference uh, uh, administrators are talking about this coronavirus thing deal. And I know that a golf uh, golf match had been shut down uh, already. So and they're already the NBA are making plans. And you know what? I don't want to speak it into existence. However, this coronavirus, man, is taking the nation by storm. It's taking over the, the world by storm. Well, I mean, really, it is. It's a big issue right, right now, DJ, but I think really everything is going to be all right from the standpoint of medicating, san you know, sanitation, you know, washing your hands, you know, do sterilizing your hands and stuff. I think everybody's taking the right precautions, and I think hopefully that thing will be out of the way and, you know, and people won't be afraid of going outside and getting sick because of the coronavirus. I think really with being in the United States, being in this world that we have, we have a cure for, I'm, sh I'm sure the center of disease control has already found out what the cure, cure is going to be. And really, I think we got the right finances to knock this thing on out. Well, I tell you what, you're speaking some good stuff and hopefully mm -hmm. all of that will work because, again, they have to definitely make uh, pre precautions uh, in, in, in the right. event that uh, this epidemic is just uh, outrageous and already is hitting in that number, hitting in that way with the numbers that we're receiving. I mean, so, go, go ahead. ahead. I mean, really, it, it is. I think really fear is non-existence is all in your mind. I think really we're going to do everything we need to do to sanitize wherever we go. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people. But when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. For all of your tire and service needs, be sure to visit Complete Tire and Service, 3109 Victory Drive in Columbus. For your convenience, we have a 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art building, premium environment to the customer. For workstations, Wi-Fi, we carry Bridgestone, Firestone, Falcon, and Continental. Our managers have over 125 combined years in the industry. We have 24-7 commercial roadside assistance, DOT inspections, complete automotive services. Our phone number is 706 9400982 Be sure to visit Complete Tower and Service 706-940-0982 should planning your travel be more stressful than staying at home? Of course not. Here at Lumpkin Travel, our VIP service makes traveling easy and fun. Girls trip. We've helped serve thousands of people and families experience their dream vacation by taking the hassle out of travel. Thank you. We book your flight, reserve your hotel, and make sure you have a stress-free vacation so you can enjoy every moment of it. We even help you choose different activities that you're guaranteed to enjoy. And the best part is, we find you the best price at no extra charge for you. Actually, 95% of customers save money and time by booking with Lumpkin Travel. So start thinking about your dream vacation. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, we'll make it happen for you. As easy as one, two, three. 
Call today or log on and set up your vacation of a lifetime with Lumpkin Travel, your travel agent for life. Welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. I tell you what, man, you know, although basketball, the NBA college, as well as uh, golf and NASCAR, you know, they're in full effect, including spring training. And of course, in just a few weeks, uh, they'll have opening day uh, in Major League Baseball. But uh, NFL free agency is upon us. Oh, it's on us, DJ. And really, you know, it's some big time free agency. And really, just from an owner standpoint, from a GM standpoint, DJ, really with the, some of the free agents that are on this list, man, it's some well-known free agents, like it always is. But I really think it might spirit man that the draft uh, has so much talent in it and I think really you know paying that big time money a lot of people are really kind of holding up on do I need to pay this guy all this money do I max him out it's definitely been a thought process when it comes down to these owners. Now, one thing is for sure is that every year this time that the owners and the players and the agents, they have their poker faces on, man, because <laughs> you know as well as I do, these performers or these uh, free agents are some have, have, have some of the best performances over the last few years. And, of course, they are, uh, of course, the, you know, at the top of the charts as far as their position. That's so right. they have deserved to get the big money. However, the owners have to position themselves in such a way that it makes them feel, feel like we, don't, we, we might not necessarily need you. Knowing, again, it's all about playing poker. That's right. Uh, at the end of the day, the guys, the big names are going to be signed, and they're going to be signed for the monies that they deserved. And one of the names that I want to just, uh, I want to just throw it to the top of the heap is Dak Prescott, the Dallas Cowboys. No yeah. doubt has been uh, just sensational uh, the last uh, four years. He's a guy that, he's a guy that uh, Tony Romo, he replaced and retired Tony Romo. Right. He has played, uh, you know, I guess effortless man as far as uh, he's been the, the ideal citizen. I mean, everything you want your franchise quarterback to be, that's not right. hurt. He played every, not, hadn't missed the game, hadn't missed the game. And his offensive production is pretty doggone good. Now, what does he deserve? Now, the Cowboys just offered him $105 million guaranteed. They, that's $33 million for four oh, yeah. years. That's right. And uh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But Dax Kemp, I'm sure, got their eyes trying to wait and see what's, you know, uh, Pat Mahomes going to do, which is not smart. I think $105 million guaranteed, that's generational wealth, as we often talk about. <laughs> that's right. And Dak Prescott was a fourth-round draft choice. And sure, he played uh, with fourth-round money. And again, they, he gave them more than they could have. No, but $105 million deal, that's a lot of money. You know, I think really that's right there at the average. Man. It's still not more than what Russell Wilson got. Russell Wilson got $35 million, DJ. And seventy million was due of his signing. So really, the way how you package that thing is really like you got to get your guaranteed money in. That's what everybody wants to do. But really, just for saying that I want to be the highest paid uh, quarterback, you know, using that quote in itself, it's going to be very interesting to see how Jerry Jones and those guys handle the situation with Dak. But I think really he still is in that that range. That thirty three million dollar piece is good, guaranteed one hundred and five million dollar. But really, it still falls under what Carlton Wentz, Wentz is getting. And then I think really, I'm like, okay, do you want to get into the comparison piece or do you just want to get in with a long-term contract still with good money, DJ? You're right. Uh, Tom Brady, another name that's out there. That, of course, everybody knows Tom. And Tom has, uh, again, he has a doggone, he has a lot of options, deal. He has a, several. The main option he has is, I, and I want to feel that, and they're, they're playing poker face Belichick uh, and, and Kraft, <laughs> is that to be, stay right where he is and to give him uh, not necessarily $33 million, but obviously give him, you know, I guess, I think $30 million, $28 million will do per year. And uh, But, again, we'll all see because, you know what, they're talking about him going to San Francisco. They're talking about him going to Oakland. They're talking about him going possibly to Nashville. I mean, it's a plethora of opportunities, and, and to include Tampa. I, I think really, man, the best thing, if I'm Kraft and I'm, I'm talking about somebody else's money, and Belichick, we keep the guy. Then we get all the pieces that he needed and he missed. He needs some receivers. He needed some youth. He needs some offensive line. And the, and the New England Patriots, traditionally, they pick good draft picks, DJ. But I'm going to give him everything that he needs to, 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 to surround himself. But at the same time, DJ, it's going to be so costly. I mean, we're going to do a one-year deal, two-year deal. We'll give, we give you $100 million, DJ, for two years. <laughs> you know, we just want you to stay right here. Because really, if he goes somewhere else, Look what everything that he's going to lose, DJ. That's mighty generous of you. But one <laughs> thing that we do know is that uh, one of his calling cards or one of the things that uh, will be included uh, in Tom's deal wherever he plays is that Antonio Brown is going to be his sidekick. That's the receiver. They've been in communication. And uh, they, they, they pretty much made, made it known. Everything but Tom Brady actually coming out and making that statement that uh, if you sign me, I want Antonio Brown with us. And I think even the, even the Oakland Raiders, if they're able to get and lure Tom <laughs> to Vegas, Okay, after all Antonio Brown has done 
wronging the front office and, of course, the team, his teammates out there, I think they'll make up. And that's the part about the NFL that, you know, that I like. It's business, man. You know what? You can, you know, you can uh, slap the baby. You can, uh, you know, you can uh, uh, kiss the sister. But at the end of the day, when it's time to come together and win, everybody forgives everybody. Well, you know, I think really, you know, everybody, uh, you know, just looking at that Antonio Brown piece, a little bit more careful right now than whether it's he has mental a mental case or his mind is right. But I think one of the big things about he's been out of the newspaper. He's been doing great things off the field, DJ. And I think really they just want to see if this guy's going to recuperate. We can get this guy back in. But one of the biggest things that I can really say about Tom Brady, he really likes Antonio Brown. And I think really wherever he goes, if that's an addition to the to the lineup, that's going to be great. If he has to go back to New England. We don't know. We don't know what the NFL, the legal piece is, is on this guy. But I think really all the talent, especially the talented receivers that are in the, the NFL draft this year, I think they can come up with about three or four little receivers, man, that really Tom Brady would love to have. And I think really Belichick would love to have them. But I think really you got to put those pieces around Tom Brady because, again, he's going to be 42, 43 years old, DJ, and I think really you just got to protect this guy. And if you keep him protected, he's going to be, a, be a real problem for everybody else in the NFL. Well, as we know, there's over a dozen uh, free agents that are right out, available right now in the NFL, and we could talk about that probably for another hour or so. But for the sake of this show, we want to talk a little bit about the draft because that's what everybody's excited about. That's what I'm excited about. Right. First and foremost, being in Las Vegas for the first time, okay. The NFL draft in Vegas, and again, you know, Vegas has a, it has a face of its own. It has, a, you know, it's, it, it's an entertainment mecca. And to move the NFL draft to Las Vegas, especially after seeing what Nashville was able to do last yeah. year, uh, again, Nashville, Vegas, man, you're talking about, you know, five times the city, five times the entertainment, and now the big NFL is taking their, their NFL draft there. I think that's a smooth deal, DJ. I mean, being in Las Vegas for the NFL draft, and it's even a bigger piece with the uh, – the Las Vegas Raiders being there now, and I think really just for us having that kind of a that kind of buzz in a town like Las Vegas, where the need the draft to be there, I think they're going to really be over the top. But I think this is going to be a very exciting NFL draft. You got players from everywhere. Everybody got what they need in this draft. If they got some draft picks, DJ. They ought to be able to get some players. While we're talking about Las Vegas and the Oakland Raiders, man, I tell you what, we're going to have a reason to go out to the uh, to Vegas to see Watch the Las yourself. Vegas Watch Raiders out, because, again, uh, Isaiah Crowell, our <laughs> very right. own, he is uh, running back with the uh, team, joined the team last year, got hurt, had an impressive offseason with injury. It was, uh, of course, his uh, Achilles tendon healing, and he's pretty much back to uh, almost 100%. I mean, really, DJ, to have that kind of favor out there at Las Vegas, that's a big thing. And I really, you know, the Raiders are – can't be a bad team to go to, DJ. If you get drafted somewhere and you go into the Las Vegas Raiders, that's big time in itself. I think John Gruden is going to do a good job. I think they got some pieces that they need to replace in this this year's draft, but I think the Raiders are going to be real good. Might not be a bad place for Tom Brady, but I can't see Tom Brady going to Vegas, DJ. But at the same time, we know the money is right. And we don't know. And Tom doesn't need any money, DJ. I think it's more so about, okay, where can I go where I can be Tom Brady? I can enjoy myself. I got good teammates, and everybody wants to win like the, the Patriots way. I think he stays, DJ. Got to give him some more money. But Let's I bring it back stays. to the NFL draft because, yeah. again, between Alabama, Auburn, and Georgia, man, this they have a, a first round is going to be decorated with uh, just those, those three teams right there. But not just those three teams. The SEC, again, you know, dominates the first round anyway for as the players are concerned. And just to see how the lineman piece uh, works out, the defensive line, the Derrick Brown piece, you know, the Marlon Davidson piece over there at Auburn. These guys playing. Tua is going to be in the mix, you know, really. The Andre Swift's going to be in the whip. Isaiah uh, Simmons. These kids and these folks, they're going to be some. Let's put it this way. It's going to be a situation, DJ, where you can get what you need in the draft. To include Alabama's uh, Tua, Tua, the Yeah, Tua. <laughs> Have yeah. fun with that, but just Tua, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, and then those receivers, man. You know, we already know Jerry Judy is probably one of the best route runners right. to, in the draft. And one of the fastest run, uh, of course, is uh, again uh, Rugs. I mean, right. that's you know that's three guys right there from that team. You mentioned uh, you know DeAndre Swift, and of right. course you know with uh, Wilson and, and as well as uh, uh, Thomas. These that's are right. that's that's two more yeah. potential first, three more potential first rounders, and Auburn Brown and <laughs> Davidson. Yeah. That's two. I mean, golly, just on those three teams, man, that's seven, eight players <laughs> that could possibly come. <laughs> 
in the first round or be picked and selected in the first round. I mean, really, they are DJ. You can write that down <laughs> right there. I mean, really, those players that we just named, they're going to be gone in the first round, DJ. And I think really the good thing about it, even as you get lower in the draft, down to the 25th pick, all the way to the 32nd pick, they're going to still be able to get a player. They're going to be able to get something that they really need to help enhance what they're already trying to do as a, a winning football team. It's going to be very interesting to see the, uh, how good these big teams, the, when I say big teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, they're picking number 32, and they already got in the mock draft that they're going to get Marlon Davidson. So I'm like, man, they're already getting, you know, they're getting better and better, but at the same time, it's plenty of players for any team. They got what you need in the first round. Absolutely. And before we go to this next break, we had breaking news last week, but of course, this is the first time us reporting to you here on uh, CTV Beam. You know, one of our very own, and you've seen him here, he's no stranger to this show. He's a local uh, native, of course, was a national champion this year down in, uh, at LSU. Tommy Keyman Robinson is now with uh, a member of the Texas A&M coaching staff as a running back coach. I mean, I think that's a big move, DJ. And really, you know, when you do your job as a recruiter and you're considered the head of recruiting for your university and a, a, a coordinator, I think really Tommy has done a great job for LSU. Texas A&M won. Jimbo Fisher is out to get anybody that can be a recruiter, DJ. Now he's got, he got guys in Florida. He's got guys all over the country. And when you can be a, an assistant head coach, somewhere and you over recruiting you are definitely a prime example of somebody just flourish, flourishing in the college football industry and I think really Tommy Keyman Roberts is one of those coaches that is growing up the boys DJ because of recruiting because he's been some places I mean from humble beginnings always to the top when you can leave LSU as a national champion to go to Texas A&M who is definitely up and coming with Jimbo Fisher DJ I think it's a great move, man. You know, one of the amazing stories that I think has been really flying under the radar for several years, and to include this year, is that uh, the job of Dabo Sweeney and keeping his staff intact yes. at Clemson versus, uh, of course, when Nick Saban, we've seen what's happened to Nick over the past few years, losing multiple coaches. Of course, as you win, you, you lose, uh, or you're vulnerable for people to come in and pluck your, your, your top assistants. Same way <laughs> with a, uh, Coach O. We're going to find out, yeah. you know, this is going to be a completely different team, much less losing uh, the very best quarterback that we've probably seen in, in uh, college football history. But uh, the staff, he lost his offensive coordinator. He lost uh, his defensive coordinator. He's lost his recruiting coordinator with <laughs> Tommy Robinson we just talked All about. Right. It's going to be interesting to see. But like I was saying, you know, the light has to shine on Dabo Sweeney because – those coaches have, I'm sure, have had opportunities to leave, and they stayed there. I mean, really, I think Dabo has a great system, DJ, and I think one of the biggest things is that to keep his assistants, he bumps their, their salary up, first of all. Give them more money, and then from the recruiting standpoint, if they're a great recruiter, he's locking those jokers in, DJ, because really just continue. It's a big deal, and everybody don't think Nick has a hard time to keep changing your assistant coaches, your coordinators. Each year, you got to change out because everybody's coming in to pick, pick all your talent, your talented coaches. And really, at the same time, DJ, I think really Dabo does a great job, but that is the thing trending now. If you want to keep your top assistants and your top recruiters, you're going to have to pay them. And, you know, once upon a time, DJ, we talked about half a million dollars, $750,000. Now these guys are in the millions, and Dabo's both his offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators are the highest paid coordinators in college football. We'll close out this segment with a bit of old news. I say old news. It happened just a few weeks ago. And, but the fact of uh, Kirby Smart plucking away Scott Cochran from the University of Alabama, the strength and conditioning coach, the two-time <laughs> strength and conditioning coach of the year. Now, again, that's the old news. The new news is that, and the, and the, and the ongoing news is that uh, Cochran uh, was overlooked had, uh, uh, by Saban, not giving him an opportunity, Saban knowing that this man wants to go and want a position on the field, but Nick Saban said, no, I, I want you to be my strength and conditioning coach. And uh, we're starting to hear linger, you hear different stories uh, just about every other day about uh, not only Scott Cochran, but hey, did uh, Nick have his hand on Kirby? Of course, having taken an op <laughs> opportunities. So you're hearing that, man, and it's, it's going to be interesting. But at the end of the day, Saban is Saban, and I'm sure he'll keep right on clicking and ticking. And uh, we'll see, of course, how that works out with Scott Cochran as a special team coach at Georgia. Well, you know, DJ, I said all along, that's who I wanted. When Kirby came over, that's the only person I, I wanted, Scott Cochran, to join Kirby. Because really, I'm going to tell you this, and some of the key Alabama players agree with what I'm getting ready to say. 
Scott Cochran really made up the whole team. When I say that, the physicality, the mentality, the passion, the intensity that all the Alabama teams played for. We had an opportunity to see this guy in action in Athens a couple of games when, when Mark Rick was playing. And you could tell he made the difference. The strength and conditioning coach is a very important piece in any big-time university school because really that's where your mentality is going to get – that's where really the heart and soul of your team is built in the weight room, DJ. Scott Cochran, Cochran does a great job, and we're glad to have him in Athens, Georgia. Big shout out to our former strength and conditioning coach, Coach Casey, man. I tell you what, he made the difference, didn't he? he made the difference, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, the strength and conditioning coach is the makeup of your team, and you got to be big, nasty, physical, whatever you need to do. The strength and conditioning coach is key. If you got to get faster, He's going to do everything that you need. If you got to get stronger, they're going to do what is needed to do, be done for you to be a great team. And I think really Georgia's on the edge of being a good team, and I think Scott Cochran might make the difference, DJ. All right, don't go anywhere. This is Sports Visions. E&S Men's Clothing Warehouse has been your most trusted name in men's fashion for more than 50 years. We've offered the area's best selection of top quality name brand suits, accessories, and casual wear at the most competitive prices around. Customer service is our top priority. We're the professionals generations have trusted for the best quality and absolutely the best deals. We are E&S Men's Clothing Warehouse. We are simply the best. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoked fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue. Serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender, and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Dishes, not pretty in your sink, not pretty on your house. Weather interference, also not a pretty picture. And those long-term contracts and early cancellation fees, the fine print is pretty ugly. With Beam, there are no contracts, channels you want, high-speed internet and no data caps, and above all, local customer service. Now that's pretty. Ask us today about our contract buyout special in cable and internet bundles. Beam, we're powered by you. And welcome back to today's final segment of the Sports Visions television show. Again, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to uh, roll out our Sports Visions magazine deal. Hold that cover up for oh, everybody man. to see. I mean, this is amazing. A, a former Big teammate time. of ours, a good friend, Herschel Walker, on the front and on the back. Yes, that's right. That's the man. That's the man with the plan. That's Stephen A. Smith and uh, Sports Visions hanging out uh, in Atlanta uh, not too many months ago. Yeah. But, Dale, this is an opportunity for uh, us to give the folks out there that are watching our viewers how you may get our magazine. I know that our corporate sponsors and our community partners uh, have them in their storefronts. However, you know what? If you email us, just email us and say, please send me the magazine and email us your uh, returning address. You can email me at djjones at sportsvisionsusa.com. That's sports with an S, visions with an S, usa.com. And Dale Williams, the same way, Dale Williams at sportsvisionsusa.com. And we'll send it to you anywhere in the country. Cleve got his, DJ. We've sent one all the way to Cleveland, Ohio. Anybody that asks for this magazine, we will get it to you. And like DJ said, all our corporate sponsors have them there, you know, from the Aflax of the world to the Chick-fil-A's of the world. They have this they have this great magazine and everybody's talking about it from the barbershop to the street. And if you see DJ and I on the street anywhere, 
we'll get you one absolutely free. I tell you what, I can't help but say this because this magazine obviously has a lot of nice things in there to include some schedules. And, but uh, more importantly, it's only been out in a week and a half, Dale, and I've had more people to come after reading. We have a couple of profiles on each one of us, obviously. Right. Uh, a lot of things that, you know, again, people want to know, how did you guys get to where you are? Uh, you know, we know you play football, but, you know, we took the time, and obviously, to uh, put our bios in the, uh, in the magazine to and go back to the beginning. And uh, it's an opportunity <laughs> for you to find out some nice little, uh, uh, some little nuggets on Dale and I. And again, you know, this is not our first rodeo. We've been exposed That's and right. been around some great, great opportunities, some great programs, some great people. And those people helped mold us into the guys that we are now. I'm telling you, DJ, we ought to start a new segment, DJ. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh -huh. you know, everybody's on the street, you know, after they read our, our profiles, of, of you know from the publisher they like I didn't know y'all did all that and you know I think really that's been interesting but really man this is a great piece you know we appreciate Miss Denise Dubose from the Citizens uh, for putting this magazine together but I think one of the biggest things you know we talked about all the schedules that are in here but the biggest thing that's in here is the NCAA requirements for high school and it's a timeline when you get into the ninth grade you need to make sure parents that your son and daughter are taking these courses right here so they are already be qualified when it's time for them to get scholarships or go to college and go to their next level. So this is a great magazine. Great job, man. Absolutely. Thank you. And of course, uh, once again, if you want the magazine, email us, DJ Jones at sports, plural, visions, plural, USA.com. And same way with Dale Williams at SportsVisionsUSA.com. Now, let's go ahead and thank all of our radio audience, man. Again, hey, that's enough with the magazine. On. Our radio uh, listeners, man, it, it's just been incredible all over the country, all, literally all over the world with, our, right. with our free Sports Visions radio app. Uh, you know, we've had the opportunity to show you on television yeah, at least once a month right. how we get down. Uh, in the uh, in the studio in the radio studios, but you know it's a completely different deal. I mean, obviously we have to be very uh, <laughs> you know, we have time restraints with yeah. regards to this, so we have to get to the point and get out of the point and get into the break. And of course, uh, make uh, of course uh, and let our sponsors uh, be seen and known uh, that, that support this show. I mean, really, man, we let them know that it's really a bonus for the sponsor, DJ, because we we're, we're able to be on radio and television. And really, just for as the app is concerned. All you got to do, everybody's got a smartphone. Go to your Play Store, type in Sports Visions Radio, and bam. Free, free, I say absolutely free, your app is right there. And I mean, really, anywhere in the country, you can show this DJ, you can see DJ and I every Monday and Thursdays on, on the uh, Sports Vision Radio Show here in Columbus. Well, that's going to do it for all the sports we have for you today. I'm DJ Jones, Dale Williams, reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week.